Hello everyone, my name is Joel Moriana and in this presentation we are going to talk about Outerware and Carla. We split the presentation into three different blocks. We will start with a brief overview of what can be achieved currently with the Outerware stack and Carla. Uh, then I will explain the details of the current design and uh, we will finish talking about the things in which we are currently working on. To start, I could like to show an example of an Outerware agent running in Carla. This is something in which we are currently working on. Uh, in the slide, we can see the different Outerware modules that we have put together in order to build this agent. So basically, we are using entity matching for localization the ground truth for perception. We are currently working towards the addition of the perception modules. The open planner for both the global and the local planner and the purple suite node for the controller. So let's explain a little bit the video. So regarding the ego vehicle, we can see uh, the behavior state, which uh, is changing from forward to follow based on the distance of the vehicle ahead. Um, also, we can see the different trajectories computed by the local planner. These trajectories are plotted in different uh, colors based on the cost computed by the planner. When the planner detects that there is a blockage ahead, it plots the trajectories in red. And then regarding perception, uh, the red bounding boxes are the ground truth obstacles coming directly from the Carla simulator. And uh, also uh, we can see uh, plotted in red different trajectories for each one of the uh, obstacles. Uh, those trajectories are the predicted trajectories computed by the Open Planner and they represent the uh, different uh, possibilities that uh, the obstacles have at each moment. Okay, so let's see uh, the installation process now. Here Basically, we have all the things that uh, we need in order to run Carla and the Outerware stack. So basically, uh, we need to install uh, Carla, the Carla uh, Rosebridge, the uh, point cloud maps for the Carla towns, and the Outerware stack. In the notes of this presentation, you have a link to the uh, Carla Outerware Bridge repo, where you will find uh, how to install everything step by step as well. But here you have all the dependencies that you need in order to start playing with uh, Carla and Outerware. So before going into the details of the design of the integration of Outerware, let's briefly talk about how can we run an Outerware agent with Carla. So basically from the part of Carla, you need to run the Carla server and the Carla Outerware bridge. I will explain later what is this Carla Outerware bridge and which is its main objective. Just mention that the Carla Outerware Bridge is already integrated in the Outerware repositories. So when installing the uh, Outerware stack, you already have access to the Carla Outerware Bridge. And finally, from the part of Outerware, you just need to configure your agent through the different launch files and execute them through uh, the runtime manager provided by Outerware. So that's all regarding the overview. Uh, we have seen uh, an example of an Outerware agent running in Carla, the installation process and how to run it. So let's talk now about the general design of the integration. Basically, between Carla and the Outerware stack, there are two bridges, the uh, Carla Ross bridge and the Carla Outerware bridge. So let's start talking about the Ross bridge. This component is uh, responsible uh, for exposing all the functionality of Carla to the ROS environment. So with this component, it is possible, for instance, to uh, spawn an ego vehicle in Carla through ROS, subscribe to a bunch of topics uh, regarding sensor data, or modify the weather in Carla among other utilities. In the notes as well, you have more documentation about the ROS bridge, explaining all the functionalities that uh, it offers because it's quite big 
and it is in this presentation we are going to focus on the parts of the ROS bridge needed to run the integration between Carla and Autoware. So if you want more inter more information about the ROS bridge, please visit the links uh, that uh, there are in the in the notes. So let's take a closer look to the ROS bridge to see which nodes are actually uh, being uh, executed when running Autoware and Carla together. So basically we have that the boxes or nodes that are colored in a transparent blue are optional whereas the other ones are mandatory. I will do a quick explanation for each one of these nodes to give a general picture of the whole configuration and then I will explain more into detail the most important ones. So first of all we have the data publishing node or the uh, Rosebridge node which is basically publishing all the uh, re relevant Carla information to ROS topics. Then we have the echo vehicle setup node to be able to spawn an echo vehicle with its sensor configuration through ROS. And the route planning node, which is optional and can be used to compute a route given an initial post and the goal. The uh, low-level controller node, uh, this node is mandatory and uh, it is necessary because uh, Autoware and Carla are using uh, different control interfaces. And finally, we have the manual control node to be able to override the uh, control commands coming from the Autoware stack and the uh, RBIT node for visualization purposes. So okay, uh, now that we have a general picture of the uh, architecture, let's see how we can configure and uh, spawn a Nego vehicle using uh, the ROS bridge. So basically, to configure the Echo vehicle, we have two main points. On the one hand, we can choose uh, the Carla blueprint that uh, we want to use as Echo Vehicle through the Vehicle Filter ROS parameter. So here in, in this parameter we can set directly a Carla Blueprint ID or set a pattern. And on the other hand we have the uh, sensor configuration which can be customized by uh, a JSON file. In the slide we have uh, an example of the structure of this file. So basically we can customize the pose of the sensor relative to the vehicle and all the additional attributes that the sensor may have. Uh, in the notes you have the complete list of the available sensors and ready to be used with the ROS bridge. You can use almost all the sensors provided in Carla and also you will find a, a link to the default sensor configuration that we are currently using. Let's talk now about the data publishing note. Um, as I have said previously, uh, the main objective of this node is to uh, monitor all the Carla actors and publish all the relevant information on ROS topics. So this node is continuously uh, monitoring the Carla world in order to uh, detect uh, new or related actors that need to be added to the uh, ROS publishing pipeline. And some of the data that this node is publishing uh, includes uh, the sensor data, the ground truth obstacles, uh, the transforms uh, for each one of the sensors and vehicles. So basically um, this node is making all the uh, Carla information uh, available through uh, ROS topics. Then we have the uh, route planning node. Uh, this is the last ROS bridge node I'm going to talk uh, about. So as I have said previously, this node is optional, depending on which outdoor modules you are going to run, and it allows the computation of routes given an initial pose and a target pose that you can indicate through uh, RBIFs. Um, I say that this node is optional because in some way it substitutes uh, the outdoor planning modules and so far this has been uh, needed because we didn't have the outdoor vector maps of our towns and therefore we couldn't apply or integrate the outdoor planning modules. So this node is really useful when you don't have the outdoor vector map 
and you need to compute a route for your use case but for instance in the example that I have shown at the beginning of the presentation we are not using this node and we are using directly um, the uh, auto wear planning modules so that's it regarding the rose bridge now let's take a look to the auto wear bridge so the main objective of the auto wear bridge is to remap the topics from the Carla uh, rose bridge world to the auto wear world Outdoor is uh, also using ROS as communication middleware. So in this context, the uh, remapping of topics consists uh, on the uh, modification of the uh, ROS topic names. And additionally to the remapping of topics, and the Outdoor bridge is also performing some data, data type conversions because sometimes the type uh, of the messages um, of the Carla Ross bridge does not match exactly with the type that Outdoor is expecting. So we have dedicated nodes that you can see here in the slide in charge of modifying those data types from the uh, Carla Ross bridge and vice versa. The last thing I would like to talk about is the Outdoor maps. I have already mentioned that Outdoor is using vector maps internally but actually it accepts uh, two different types of maps the point cloud maps and the vector maps regarding the point cloud maps uh, they are mainly used for localization purposes and we are already providing them for uh, all of our towns in the notes you have uh, the link to the uh, repository where these maps are and we are also providing a PCL recorder inside the Rosebridge to allow the creation of custom uh, point cloud maps. On the other hand, we have the uh, vector map, which um, is the one containing the logical information of the map. And uh, as I have said previously, it is needed if we want to compute uh, routes using Outdoor. So currently, Outdoor accepts two different types of vector maps the Asian vector map and the uh, Lanelet 2 uh, for, uh, vector map. Uh, we are currently working towards the conversion of our towns, which are in open drive format to uh, desk formats. And here in, in this slide, we have two different available conversion tools we are using right now uh, to do so. Lastly, some of the things we are uh, currently working on um, provide outdoor vector maps for uh, the Carla towns, both in Asian and Lay Led Shoe uh, formats, to be able to use the outdoor planning modules. Uh, the integration of uh, the outdoor perception modules, also the integration of the low level controller inside Carla to improve the uh, response time of the controller and avoid possible delays. And finally, the uh, integration of um, Outdoor.Auto, which is the next generation of Outdoor built on, on ROS2. So that's all regarding Outdoor and Carla. Thank you very much for your attention and don't hesitate to contact us uh, through the uh, Carla forum or Discord in case or of any doubt or question.